All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Smithify Podcast. This is episode four already, I think. I think that's what we're on already. And today we're joined with Nacho. Nacho. What's up? There we Here. go. And I think we're going to call this the Ask Reddit episode, I think. Because yeah, currently all, we'll all we have planned is scrolling Ask Reddit. And for those of you who don't know, Ask Reddit is the place you go to ask and answer thought-provoking questions, as stated in the description of Ask Reddit. But it's a subreddit or whatever you call it on Reddit, which is an app I should spend more time on because I'm pretty sure it's just it's the app for gamers. If you're a gamer, you should be on Reddit, and I need to spend more time there. But, it's a place for everyone, really. But mainly, I just see a lot of memes there, so I just attribute it to gamers, to be honest. And I see PewDiePie post about it, so that that's that was my takeaway from it. But let's get into it. let's get into some Ask Reddit questions. You got any? <laughs> should we start scrolling down? Uh, let's just let's just keep going. Let's just go through it all. To start scrolling yeah, and see if you find one you like okay like this one what's a song you love from a genre you don't like at all <sighs> jesus i don't like country really at all but i gotta no, I, don't... I gotta respect some country songs like the gambler <laughs> that song goes hard <laughs> big green tractor that's it she thinks my tractor's sexy you gotta respect those songs <laughs> i <laughs> Big Bad John. I grew out of country. Big Bad I've John. grown out of it. No, I really don't like it, but I gotta respect those songs. You got any? Not, not that I can really think of right now. I mean, probably Big Green Tractor, like you said, from country. That song, it, it, it slaps. It, it, it used really to does. go so hard, or International Harvest. <laughs> <laughs> Back in like 2010, those songs went so hard. Oh my god. <laughs> but now I really, I don't like country anymore. I just find it boring. Like some it just, songs, it are sounds good. all the same. Like, yeah, that's kind of all music today. But, like, I just got to be in a certain mood to listen to country. Like, I, it's just a certain mood that I'm only in, like, twice a year. When you're on the farm? <laughs> kind of, actually, yes. <laughs> like, if I'm done listening to all my other music and I'm, like, sick of that, I'll just put on my country playlist and let that go. But, yeah, <laughs> it's one of my least favorite genres of music for sure. Uh, what is, what's the best compliment you've ever received from anyone? Uh... Well, I don't know if this would count as like the best one, but like a recent compliments, people have like really been like complimenting like my editing and like videos and stuff, which I think is I have awesome. Seen that. Cause like, and like so many people are doing it too, which is awesome. Cause like, like I spoke in like my last podcast, this is something that I want to do. I like entertaining people and for them to like actually say that they're entertained by it, by it and that they like enjoy it means a lot to me. So that's a big compliment that I get. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> yeah. I've seen, what... I've seen comments, people saying like, they're just kind of mind blown by your editing oh, and yeah. the thing is yeah. you don't even use like a three hundred dollars <laughs> editing software you use yes, the I, free iMovie I use iMovie which is that's got to be holding me back part of it's like i don't want to learn how to use a new software or whatever and then the other part is that i'd have to buy a new one that's probably actually good i mean with how people are reacting now it's like you really don't need to upgrade just yet no or at all I'm... mainly Eventually, I think, like, an upgrade could, like, help me save time. That would help a lot, because, like, some things on iMovie, you have to go through, like, multiple steps to do. Like, add multiple layers of, like, overlays you have to do. It takes a lot of time on iMovie. And I think oh, yeah. other I editing softwares would make that a lot easier. So, that'd be nice to improve on that, but I don't know. Maybe someday. Probably. Maybe get Final Cut Pro. Isn't that also an Apple product? Oh, yeah. It's, like, 300 bucks on the App Store. That's nothing. <laughs> That's, <laughs> so, like, your yearly pay. It's, just, it's a... It's a small price for a... <laughs> you know it's a very large price but yeah so like people complimenting my videos is like awesome i really appreciate that because it's something the game and ninja turtles didn't have unfortunately the old youtube channel we didn't get any comments and it was just us watching those videos but people are actually watching my videos now which is awesome and i really appreciate it so thank you guys all right <laughs> what do we got next uh what is something you're bad at but enjoy doing anyway you know see for me Ooh. That would be just simply doing my day-to-day -day life and playing games. <laughs> Wait, what? Please explain. I Okay, I don't necessarily consider myself good at playing games. I consider myself quite mediocre. But you just enjoy playing them? like I enjoy playing them. Because mm -hmm. sometimes okay. people don't... You don't play it just to, like... I mean, obviously, you play the games to get better at it, but sometimes you play certain well, games to just have fun with it. We're definitely better than the average players. I mean, our Fortnite duo, we used to go off... <laughs> Back, back in, in like day. what 2019 <laughs> winter of 2019 we could still we could still get out of division one today so we're still decent i mean we were i remember back when 
It was like we were in Division Six or something. We weren't just there. Yeah, we used to go to Fortnite. But it's it's I saw that they added helicopters now, which is just There's helicopters in that game now? <laughs> yeah. It's I'm I... pretty sure it's probably like the airplanes again. Like the thing about Fortnite is they try to be like innovative and add things like every week, but I think they kinda took it too far and they add too many things too often. And they just they, yeah. it's gotten crazy, it's gotten out of hand. So. People people like when they update games like often and fix bugs and stuff, but them they yeah, there is they something that's too, too much. much. Yeah. And I mean, I don't think it's in a bad state right now. It just got old, to be honest. But it yeah. really has. It, like sometimes it's entertaining to play and fun, and then you, it, what it's really ruined the game is just how people, <laughs> just the quick builds, <laughs> people building on you, Builder Pro and edit, Remember... spending constant hours in creative, just <laughs> practicing editing. I mean, that was once me, but you know when they nerfed Builder Pro for like a couple hours and people just went crazy. <laughs> They did. They did do that. I did see the, all so, the the drama on it. They tried to fix it, and it's too far gone. They've it's too far gone. It's I know. <laughs> they decided to add bots then, which I think was another terrible decision because <clears throat> then it takes away like the satisfaction of getting kills if you know all you're killing is bots. So that made the game less enjoyable, right there. Yeah, especially. I mean, they made it more appealing to the new players that are coming, but just for like. Yeah, they really. I can understand. That. They kind of dug themselves in a hole, and then they just they can't get out. And now I just I don't like it anymore, really. But it's not terrible. So yeah, uh, I can't really think of something to be honest off my head, off the top of my head right now. <clears throat> Let's just go on to the next question. I found one that's, what fictional world would you want to be real? The Clash of Clans universe. I hate you. I despise you. <laughs> would that not be awesome? Like I'd want to be like, Are you... I'd want to be one of the like leaders in the town hall and I just get to assemble my troops and send my hog riders in. That'd be awesome. What? You don't want that? All right. Next question. No, no, what do you want? What do you want? What world? Overwatch or what? Okay, not the Overwatch world. I mean, cause if you've seen the Overwatch world, which you haven't, it's in terrible condition. It's in chaos. <laughs> so you want to You be obviously part of it. don't follow the lore, <laughs> which there's very little of. So what's your answer? What would you what would you pick? What fictional world would I want to be real? Mm -hmm. You know, when I first read this question, I, th I immediately thought of Harry Potter. I only read the first book and I never watched the movies. <laughs> God, are you actually a person? I've asked you. I've always I do constantly exist. asked you. I am a person. I just. Like, I've never seen Star Wars certain... either. <laughs> okay, I have only seen one Star Wars movie, but still, right. like, come on. <laughs> I'm, I do exist. I just I don't know. I read like one book, and it was just okay. <laughs> Back in like third grade, and I never had the passion to watch the movies. So this is where I am today. <laughs> I mean, if it's just really like if you don't enjoy one thing, you're really not gonna enjoy it again. Yeah, and I just never got into the whole Harry Potter, like many others have. <laughs> <laughs> so this this is that led me to where I am right now. <clears throat> Hating on the Harry Potter franchise, it sucks. All right, next. Wow, you're gonna get a lot of hate comments for that. No, it's all good. It was a joke. <laughs> now we're good. All right, you got another <laughs> oh, one. Oh, it's not a joke. Uh, oh, we can't do that one. <laughs> that one's. All right, I got one for you. You might have seen this. All one. right. All right, if scientists invented a teleportation system, but the death rate was one in five million, would you use it? Why or why not? So you're saying if I were to teleport to any point in time, one person would die out of like five million? No, no, no. Like you use the teleport system, and you'd have a one in five million chance of dying by using it. Oh, that's... So oh, you okay. could potentially die, but you could also teleport. Hmm. Would you use it? <laughs> I think I would. That's a... Okay. I think I would. I mean, that's a pretty good chance. <laughs> at least once, and maybe not like every day, but I would do it at least once. Like, yeah, like, where would it's I teleport a one in five to? Five million. I would go. Yeah, where would you teleport to? Is the question. <sighs> hmm. Wait, can you go to like other planets? I mean, you'd die instantly, but. Okay, this is a time machine. <laughs> or is wait? It's, it's a teleportation. Or teleportation. It's a teleportation. Oh, machine. teleportation machine. My bad. So yeah. Um, I don't know, man. I Greenland? Maybe somewhere. <laughs> Greenland? I'm sorry, bud. They got coronavirus there. I, I just want to. I mean, we have coronavirus, so basically. I kind of want to just see what Greenland has to offer. How about you? I'd probably go to the UK. I've always me wanted to go there to the UK. <laughs> yeah, Remember me too. We, we did our history project where we drove over to PewDiePie's house or whatever. 
we did <laughs> we did do that the project is very well made we got an AI good job us all right so we would both use it and you'd go to the uk i'd go to greenland <laughs> yeah it's all europe right, you, is a all right what's good a place what's a good tv series that can pass the time in this 14 day quarantine which will turn into more but what's your favorite tv uh, series definitely a tv series that i've gotten into recently is a tv series called it's on netflix it's called good girls i don't know if you've heard of it no <laughs> no okay don't let the name fool you good yeah, it's about right I, really, I was it's about these three like women they all have kids like they're all married and all that they're just regular housewives mm-hmm. but one day they get into debt so they decide to go rob a grocery store <laughs> they make a whole series off that they did they they like... If they rob a grocery store turns out the money they stole was actually counterfeit money that belonged to some <laughs> gang leader so now they get involved with the gang like it's, how many it's seasons really funny. is this like a thing going on right now how many seasons is this yeah like... there's three seasons it's ongoing oh interesting well it's, it's really good maybe someday but it's... like I would just say like Supernatural that's like the only TV series I've ever gotten into to be honest <laughs> have you ever watched I mean, if... a Supernatural episode I think I have probably like a while ago. Like, though. I don't remember. They've got like 16 seasons in that show. It's crazy, but no, that, that's what I'd recommend. Supernatural for sure. It's good stuff. Even though like the later seasons, the episodes get kind of boring, but you know, you kind of just, like... I'd recommend good girls. If you're looking just for a laugh or something, it can get <laughs> like, it can get boring at some points, but the comedy definitely picks it back up. All right. There we go. Good girls. I'll have to maybe check that out someday. If I ever want a Netflix <laughs> series. <laughs> maybe uh what game are you really good at oh <laughs> uh, now this is where you game. get to brag a bit i don't <laughs> i don't even know <laughs> i mean i'm good at zombies but i'm good at minecraft i could flex my redstone knowledge <laughs> like, and you can flex like... your zombie capabilities i mean i've seen you play i mean if you haven't known there's videos of us playing but. For years, we've been grinding COD. I mean, I don't know. I wouldn't say I'm like much better than you at zombies. I don't know. <laughs> it's not that I hard. mean, you have the patience to get to round what? What was it that you made it to? What's the uh, highest round you've made it to? 112, but that may be controversial. <laughs> 112. As to how I got to I, that round, but we'll go with like 71, legit. <laughs> yeah, the, the highest one I've been to is round 50, which out of spite, you went to round 51 yes you got on the same map you got to round 50 on mob of the dead and you were bragging about it because you were taught me on the leaderboard so i went up to you and got to round 51 recently (laughs) and there's actually a video of us like five years ago of you like bragging how you're above me on the mob of the dead leaderboards (laughs) i I waited five years to beat you (laughs) and today you cold you held a grudge for five years (laughs) and i finally acted and now i'm better than you (laughs) but you you still have me in transit (laughs) <laughs> highest round's like 24 mine's like 22 <laughs> yeah cause no one it just gets so boring you have to do so many things and go so far and it's just so many ways you can die yeah there's no need to grind transit the color scheme is gray to brown it's beautiful that's the power bus depot <laughs> bus depot's more fun yeah like wasn't yours like round 11 <laughs> something like that it's probably about that god bus depot is just terribly hard it's so terribly stupidly hard they were being kind of lazy with some Black Ops 2 Zombies maps. Like, half of them are just parts taken out of transit. Which, I mean, yeah, they're kind of fun, but it's kind of lazy at the same time. But it's all good. <sighs> all right. If you could replace one body part with another, what would you choose and why? So, okay. So, if I had to choose one body part to replace and replace it with another. <laughs> is this just like swapping positions on your body? Is that it? Is that what this is asking? I think so. I mean, I'd like to see how it would be if I switched my arms and my legs around. Hmm. Like, I know that's called just a handstand, but I want to, <laughs> like, I, I want to like, try it. I was really thinking, like, a leg and, like, a nose. <laughs> like You tell, know, now you're, like, that's going to increase your neck strength. <laughs> tell me you don't want to see somebody's leg coming out of their face. That'd be awesome. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Okay, if you look at your, if you look at how thick your thigh is, though, that's gonna cover your whole face. <laughs> that, oh. You're not gonna be able to see. I suppose that could be problematic now that I think of it. Okay, how about like a big toe and a nose? 
so you, you're constantly gonna smell the ground <laughs> oh that'd be a terrible experience all right i don't know the answer there's not many options in this it's just switching arms and legs that's about it <laughs> uh <laughs> you want me to get one up here you get asked by a toddler how are babies made what's your response um a girl gets hungry and she starts eating food and then a child is made because so you're saying get obese <laughs> yes because i'm pretty sure that's what i used to think and my brother used to think <laughs> so that's what i would tell them she gets hungry and she eats a lot and then there you go a new child that's my explanation. i mean for me i would just tell them straight up <laughs> i like to keep children innocent for as long as possible <laughs> Yeah, as soon as my kid comes out of the womb, like it's not going to be innocent. Which is something, unfortunately, the internet does a lot of. Ninja, looking at you. <laughs> Calling out ninja. <laughs> if you could only have one meal for supper for the rest of your life, what would it be? Just one One meal. meal. What is your go-to? You know, probably like a pizza or something. Oh, That sounds boring and plain, but like. Why would you do that to yourself? Trying... That would get so old. I, was kidding. I haven't I'm even thought of the answer here. for myself, but that just sounds terrible. An apple for dinner. Just an apple. Hmm. I don't know if that'd be very Healthy. filling. I think I'm like, what could I eat every day? Would steak be good? Wait, is this for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? One meal for well, supper. One... Wait, so you still have lunch and breakfast? But your supper's the same every day? Probably just oh, that's... like a steak or something. I, don't, I wouldn't get old, I don't think. A steak. A nice hefty steak. Is that what you're going with? I don't think that'd get old. <laughs> but it, <laughs> then again, it would eventually. Everything would get old eventually, so there's no really good answers. Hmm. What is the dumbest conclusion that you came to as a child? I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but I was wondering if you had something. <laughs> The dumbest conclusion I've came to as a child. I mean, besides the fact that females eat a lot of food to make children, that was a dumb conclusion. <laughs> I mean, at one point, like, I did come to the conclusion that the world was going to end. Like, what was it? Like, back in 2012, what day was it said the world's just oh, I do remember that. I was in, like, third grade that we were all talking about it. It was going to happen. And it didn't happen, surprisingly. <laughs> for, like, the 20th time they predicted it. <laughs> yeah, like, I... I remember the night before it was supposed to end, I told my mom that I loved her, and then I went to bed, and then I sadly woke up. <laughs> so even from a young age, you wanted the world to end? <laughs> <laughs> and I came downstairs, and I was just like, <laughs> I was just so confused. <laughs> why is the world not over? <laughs> How do, why why do theories like here? that even get started? Like, what do people look to to predict when the end of the world is... Coming okay, well, I think day. in 2012 there was the Mayan calendar that was. Oh, it was the coming to an end there. or something, or. Yes. Huh. Maybe I don't know what Y2K was about. <laughs> yeah. I, I wasn't know. born yet, so. Hmm. If you woke up tomorrow and found out it was 2015, <laughs> what would you do with your newfound knowledge from the Ooh. next five years? <sighs> wow. Well, I would definitely enjoy just everybody was vibing in 2015 man the youtube community was strong the gaming community was strong i was going off in school back in junior high those were my <laughs> best years 2016 was the best year of the 2010s hands down for sure yeah, like, i miss the clowns like, dude 20, oh my god we would all be whip nay naying in 2015 let's go dude can't tell me that wouldn't be hype the middle the middle age i'd say 2014 to 2016 is definitely the best years of the 2010s yeah i'd agree with that it's also Definitely. when, like, I'm pretty sure it's also when the meme community, like, popped off. Yeah, probably. Memes were a new thing back then, and now they're great. I love memes. <laughs> I awesome. love cursed images. No, I, I don't like cursed images, but I like memes, but yeah. Please, if you like cursed images, please just hit me up. Please, I beg. <laughs> you have a, you can swap. You have many cursed images that you've shown me, and I've hated most of them. Some of them are decent, but a majority of them are terrible. If you don't know what cursed images, go look up. What What's your suggestion for cursed images? Curse, just look up cursed images on the internet. You're bound to get many possibilities. You know a cursed image when you see it. You don't, it's just, if you see something, you just think to yourself, that's cursed. Like, you just, it's so unnatural and surreal. It makes you, know you uncomfortable. It when you see it. 
it's a picture that makes you uncomfortable and he likes it for some reason. I don't know, man. It's amazing. It's just so it's, funny. It's terrible to experience. me. But yeah, I went back to 2015. I probably wouldn't change much. I just enjoy it while it was there. I would just know to enjoy it more, which doesn't really change much, but vibe. Yeah, maybe I'd go vibe. predict like the Super Bowl winners for the next five years. Definitely do that. Make millions off that. Get honest. Ooh. Fill out a perfect NCAA bracket. <laughs> I would the first one ever. <laughs> I'd definitely be doing some of that. Well, no, people filled out a perfect one this year. Just just a blank sheet of paper was the correct bracket for this year's uh, I see what you did there. <laughs> so <laughs> I see people, what you did. <laughs> the first ever brackets that were perfect have been filled out this year. Oh, this one could be interesting. Uh, you get three wishes. One selfish wish, one selfless wish, and one meaningless wish. What are they? <laughs> oh, a selfish wish. Oh, God. <sighs> Give right. yourself like a million subscribers. Oh, man. That would make me hype. Yes, I would give myself a community just that that is active, which I kind of got going right now, which is awesome. But like, I'm just a, now I would get, okay, I'm selfish. I'd give myself control over everybody. <laughs> Wow. I would want world domination. Like, be honest, if we just if we all had a free wish, I want to be I want to be the ruler of the world. <laughs> and you say I'm weird for wanting I'm, to like just for liking cursed images. Okay, well, if we all had the freedom to be in charge, we all would choose it, would we not? <laughs> and then I was going to say my selfless one, I was just going to say I wish for like all the people suffering out there to just to just be better, man. I want those children to get food in Africa. I want world peace. That's you know, myself. That's never gonna happen. That was kind of too. Yeah, I know it's never gonna happen, but I mean, I could say that. And feel good. It's a very unrealistic goal to achieve, but we could say it to make ourselves <laughs> right, feel better. Then, Wait. Then need... what's your meaningless? Hmm, that's interesting. I would. Oh, let's see. You can just. I really don't know. I would just. I would wish for the wish for paint to be changed on my walls right now i don't like it what uh, color is it now like color my walls i don't like them they're just they're just black it's boring that sounds black great. And like light tan i just want some color in here it's like your soul <laughs> so i'd be like jazz this room up a little bit and then see what my wish brings me and even jazz your room <laughs> <laughs> hmm what's the best thing that happened to you today the best thing that happened, oh, definitely, just, definitely just drinking a cup of coffee in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not much has happened today. Like, I've had two classes online and made a YouTube video. So I'd say the best thing that happened to me is, again, the comments on the YouTube video. That's about it. Cause I, I enjoy reading the comments. I always like to just lay down and just go read the comments on your videos. <laughs> it makes it, like, it's very some of them are funny. Yeah. People like I love actually, reading them. I just love it, man. People watching our videos is something we've always wanted and we've never had, and now we kind of have it going on. It's <laughs> awesome. It's so much fun. It is something to do to pass the time. Yeah, definitely. All right, what is this? Is this one's kind of deep? What is right. the most important thing in your life? The most important thing in my life is just is it family. It always got to come back no, to family. What's man. wrong with you? It's always got to come back to family. <laughs> They're all you got in life. If you think about all you have is family and friends, man. That's all wow, you got. you're saying I don't have anything else? Yes. I have my Xbox. <laughs> yep, that thing's going to break someday, and then what do you got? <laughs> <laughs> You've chosen your Xbox over your family. They've all left you. Now now, now look where you're at. <laughs> no, it's... It, it... <laughs> You've got a broken Xbox and sadness. <laughs> uh, as soon as my Xbox breaks, my spirit breaks. <laughs> I mean, that'll lead but to it... depression, and that's why you choose family over everything. <laughs> It definitely be friends and family. Yeah, that's what I gotta say. You know, they're all you got. They're just gonna stick by you. All right, this is this is a very very deep question. Let's hear it. Hey, for it. where's Perry? God, where do you um, think Perry is right now? <laughs> Perry. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably at Doofenshmirtz's thing. He's probably he's in his lair. <laughs> oh. Which, this, this is an interesting question. What should we be doing right now instead of browsing Reddit? <laughs> Sleeping. <laughs> yes, definitely sleep. I'd probably kill for some sleep right now. But I do no. Have, <laughs> I do have school tomorrow, which 
I mean, online learning, it's impossible to learn online. So I basically accepted that for the rest of the school year, I'm just going to like fail everything and not learn at all. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much what I've accepted at this point. Like, uh, I had a class today and there were just like kids in the background screaming and <laughs> the teacher's dog was, <laughs> was like running around and she had to go <laughs> settle him down. It's a complete mess. There's no way anything is going to get is. done. <laughs> oh, this one, this one's pretty good. All right, you're floating. To, you're floating up to heaven. You get closer and closer to the light, and you hear a song playing, and it gets louder and louder. What song is it? Knocking on heaven's door. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> that's definitely a lot of people's answers. <laughs> Knocking on heaven's door. What else? There's got to be something else. Highway to hell. <laughs> 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 yes it's either that or knocking on heaven's door those are the two options it's nothing else nobody can pick anything else <laughs> i love that uh, or it can be like i can't think of anything else to fit that situation <laughs> drift anything. shot by macklemore <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I just want to imagine, like, walking closer to something. You just hear this. <laughs> what? What? Like... What? <laughs> That'd be interesting. This one is very <laughs> random. If you could remove a cubic meter from anywhere in the world, how would you cause the most destruction? I don't even know how that works. You... How? Cubic okay. Meter. First off, big. I don't know how long a cubic meter is. That's not very big. I like... would definitely use that cubic meter to destroy the leaning tower of pisa which then makes it collapse on people <laughs> jesus right uh yeah you've kind of made me interested in i'd take down the eiffel tower for sure if i could do that with that much space That'd with be one cubic meter you're gonna take down one of the largest objects in the world <laughs> so yeah that's, that's how we'd cause the most destruction i mean i get it and i get it all right Ooh, okay, this one's kind of for you. What, what are got? some of the worst things a YouTuber can do in their videos? <laughs> uh, like... Alright, it's easy. Alright, so I'm typing in, I'm on the Shadows of Evil Easter Egg, we'll say. And I have to look up a step, how to do the Shadows of Evil Easter Egg, and I get to this tutorial video, and this guy's got two minutes before he even starts the tutorial where he's plugging all his social medias, he's telling you to enter his giveaway, telling you to like and subscribe, and like, bro, I just want to see the tutorial. So stalling out videos to make them like 10 minutes, that's a big one. That's something that I hate so much, especially when it's obvious. Yeah, and it's like you, you, don't do, you don't do that with your videos. Oh. Your videos are like five minutes from time. No, I, I hate making long videos. They get so boring. And <laughs> like screaming, JoJo Siwa, Morgs, like I get headaches from listening to them. I I don't know how children can watch those videos, but whatever, man. <laughs> but I, don't, I don't like screaming <laughs> constantly. Entertainment, dude constant screaming anyway i mean we, it's just i scream in my videos sometimes but like it's not constant <laughs> <laughs> it's not like really annoying but yeah those are two of the big things i don't really know and just, uh yeah. do you think a clone of yourself can defeat you in hand-to-hand -hand combat why or why not I and mean, he's got a, like a 50 50 shot i don't know <laughs> he's literally just me <laughs> one of us is gonna win i don't know probably Depends where he spawns. If he's, if he's got the high ground, he's got me beat. <laughs> Depends where he spawns. If he's got the high ground, he's going to win. That's how it works, man. <laughs> That's how it works. That's what you say. That's how it always works. High ground is key. Like right. if he was upstairs right now, I'm going to lose because I can't go up. He's going to get me. Ah, uh, see. So <laughs> but don't you have windows that you can crawl out of? <sighs> he would hear that. I can't crawl. I'd have to break them. Ah, uh, so therefore... He's gonna he's gonna know what you're thinking though at all times that you exactly. think. Exactly. That's the problem. He knows every single one of my moves. He knows exactly what I'm thinking, what I'm gonna do. It'd be difficult. So if, if But at spawns, the same time, you're gonna know what he's thinking. Yeah, but it's all just gotta do with position. If he's above me, he wins. Whoever's on top, whoever's up higher in the world is gonna win. <laughs> High ground wins. <laughs> uh what is your most irrational fear? <sighs> what am I afraid of? Um, what are you afraid of? I don't even know anything. Something that I'm just afraid pointlessly of. afraid of. Like, there's no need to be afraid of it. You seem like a person that's afraid of clowns. <laughs> I kind of think clowns are funny. <laughs> <laughs> I like Pennywise. I like that series. I don't really know. What am I pointlessly afraid of? 
um, probably like video games. <laughs> There's no point to be afraid of video games, but <laughs> it just makes the experience a lot more fun when you just are scared. Just like the just like the time when you played the maze. <laughs> that game was actually terrifying. <laughs> Yeah, that... Please, oh, I want to play that again. Just... That's yeah, we gotta remake that video for sure. That was, you know, I know it's coming now, which makes it a little worse. But it... we played it a couple days ago, and I it was still scary when we got jump scared. <laughs> like I said, if they just like the maze is a Roblox game, and you just run around through a maze and you get chased by two like the boy and some other tall black Slenderman type deal. <laughs> and there's no objective to the game. If there's an objective, the game would be amazing. But there's no objective, so you just run around and get there, jump scared, and it's not very enjoyable. There used to be an objective. It's just that they took it out for some reason. Yes, and they it really concerns me. Updated in quotation marks, and they took out the Easter egg or whatever. Quite the update. Yes. <laughs> uh, what is your favorite color? Oh, jeez, I don't care. Orange is cool. Orange. No. So you're going with orange. Green, purple, green, purple. I kind of like like my logo colors. I kind of think that looks really cool. Green, purple, so blue. The... The mixture, okay. Kind of more purple. Purple's cool, man. Like, purple. Know, people think that's kind of feminine, but I don't know. Purple and green are cool. I, I've seen you in your purple suit. Oh, yeah, I did wear a purple suit, didn't I? And it looked nice. Yeah, it man. Clean. Purple looks good. Purple. Right, he's going with... Basically, just what my channel art looks like. That purple, green, blue, those colors are, those are all sweet. And you heard it here first, folks. His favorite color is purple. There we go. <laughs> How will you teach your children about our current crisis? Like the coronavirus crisis? I th I think that's what they're referencing, probably. So if I were to tell my kids what happened back in 2020, I would basically make it as dramatic as possible. Like boomers do, but yeah. Also, yeah, and then just <laughs> put some comedic twists in it. <laughs> so basically just be what a boomer is, yeah. I'm going to show my kids the movie 2012 and told them I lived through that. <laughs> These are tough times. Yeah, dude. We're going to be boomers someday. We make fun of them, and we already know we're heading straight. We're going to act the exact same way they do. Like, we're going to hate on kids who us... play, like, Modern Warfare. We're like, we had BO2 back in our day. You guys suck. But we're just being boomers right there. <laughs> the cycle continues <laughs> they're gonna, forever. They're going to tell us, shut up, Gen Zers. <laughs> Are we gonna get offended? Or are we are we still gonna be making memes when we're like eighty? Definitely. Oh my god, dude, we're gonna be either really messed up or we're gonna be cool. I don't know. <laughs> I want to know what memes are gonna evolve to in like in the future. Oh my god, probably. If there's, like it's holograms. gonna be so <laughs> <laughs> holographic meme projectors. Everybody will have one. Hmm. Like I just want to know the kinds of formats that people are gonna have, like. The way they are now, they're random but funny. And I just want to know if that format will stay the same or if it will become different. Yeah, I have no clue. I really have no idea. I hope we see some cool advancements in technology in our lifetime, though. <laughs> like, I expect, we definitely will. I want to see some flying people just flying around with cars and flying shoes and stuff. That's what I want to see. So, ah, so you want, you want quick advancement. <laughs> I want something like that. I just want something cool. I don't, we I don't cyber truck. I don't want to be here for when the robots take over. <laughs> I want to be gone before that happens. Like I, when as soon as I die, anything in the world can happen. Anything. The world could end. Mm -hmm. We go too far, and the robots take over. I can't wait till my Alexa kills me. <laughs> She's spying on you right now. So just, <laughs> I mean, they're taking your info. Yeah, they're always listening. Like I'm telling you, man, TikTok. We'd be talking about what? Okay, we were talking about like those bugs that live on your eyelids or whatever. You know those <laughs> okay. things? We were just talking about that yeah. in the party chat on PS4. I go on TikTok and like one of the first ones I see is somebody talking about that stuff. I, was, I remember. I, I was so. Confused. I think it was one night. It was one night too. We, I was I was with Matt in a party. I don't think you were there. We were playing Overwatch, and we we were talking about GameFly for some reason. You remember GameFly? <laughs> GameFly. Yes, the ads are iconic. <laughs> Yes, and I, I meet. I, we get off. I immediately go on Instagram and I see an ad for GameFly yeah, that I've never weird, seen. Man. They're always listening, and like we didn't even search anything or click anything. So how do they know? <laughs> like my phone's probably listening to me right now. My computer, everything here is probably listening to me. But I mean, I guess no I, software. I do have my computer recording me right now. That's probably <laughs> <laughs> all right. 
Uh... All right, if a UFO mm. landed right now and a little alien, and a little alien steps out that resembles the Reddit mascot, Snoo waddles out, what's going to happen next? If the Reddit mascot just walks out of a UFO that lands on the ground right now, punt it. Is it? Is that making national news? <laughs> punt it. Punt it. Just take it and punt it and don't tell anybody. Exactly. Take I the ship. Think... Punt it and take the ship. Interesting. I think I would just tell the media and have that become a national news story and make some money off it. <laughs> You're gonna have to capture the alien first. That could be difficult. <laughs> That's interesting. Punt it. <laughs> That's your instinct oh, this to go is... punt the alien. <laughs> This is a weird one. If you were being murdered in a dark alley, what what song would you want to be playing as you were shot and killed? <laughs> Bad to the bone. <laughs> I'd probably pick the We Are Number One. Honestly, like any song you pick right there is going to be funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yes that's what I'm, I'm b- 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 bad to the bone as I just get like shot and you'd have we are number one I'd pick the Fortnite that... default dance song <laughs> <laughs> maybe they'd let you live after picking that masterpiece <laughs> oh here we go what song is what song is going to be playing as they lower your casket <laughs> <laughs> what song would you want playing um I don't even know Gary, come home. <laughs> oh my god! Oh. I don't even know. If I, I want can fix my it. <laughs> I want my funeral to be funny. I want a funny funeral. Like I've had this conversation before, and I've thought about it. I want someone to dress up as the Grim Reaper and sit at my funeral. <laughs> like, did you see the one YouTube video of the? like Irish dude who like recorded himself Uh, (laughs) like an audio tape of him like trying to escape his casket before he died I did see that and and everyone was loving it yeah like that that's gotta be you (laughs) it does gotta be me I I mean we've done this before we've made a bet who's gonna die first I think I said I'm gonna die first I forgot what year we said and then (laughs) you said you were gonna die like a day after me out of spite <laughs> it was like 2080 something we're gonna die i'm gonna die anyway in 2080 that's my prediction so hopefully if you guys are watching this right now i'm correct <laughs> i think i said 2086 <laughs> but i don't know <laughs> uh if the olymp if there was olympics held for average people what do you think some of the events would be <laughs> olympics held for average people dishwashing dishwashing quickest to get dressed <laughs> I, quickest that could be a person to travel across town by bus or something I don't know quickest shower but you have to follow all the steps of the shower like the hair shower. body yeah that could be something that'd be kind of difficult to televise though <laughs> <laughs> you might run into problems there no no <laughs> no that's not an issue oh oh this is kind of this kind of deep how do you think the human race will die out? I don't think we're going to die out. You don't think so? No. So do you think we're going to be able to colonize other planets? No, we can only live here, man. <laughs> this is all we got. Uh, so you don't think we're going to be able to live on Mars in like the next 10, 15 years? No. Definitely not. What? How are we going to live there? I'm just... That's gonna cost. I'm just saying. Think about how much money that's gonna cost. <laughs> like, what? think of how much money we're gonna be making. <laughs> <laughs> None. Be fifty trillion dollars in debt by then. <laughs> we're already at fifty trillion in debt. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, we're at like twenty something. It's way up there. Tough times are tough. <laughs> it's all right though. Economies. We'll be fine for our generation, I think. The richest man in the world has seven <laughs> billion dollars. He could easily give everyone in the world one billion. Man, who is Jeff Bezos still the richest dude? Pretty sure. <laughs> Couldn't even imagine having that much money. That'd be insane. I'd just be handing it out left and right. Oh, yeah. I remember Matt. Matt told me that Jeff Bezos bought the earth. <laughs> he could probably almost buy the earth. <laughs> no, he did buy the earth. I'm pretty oh. sure he bought it. <laughs> <laughs> what? 
like those man islands that are the, the earth or what? no the man owns the whole planet <laughs> we're all on his property i need to look up that news article <laughs> i swear he the earth. Did, did something like that <laughs> I, I hold on this one's i want to hear if you've ever heard this experience dear mcdonald's employees of reddit when you say the ice cream machine is broken is it really <laughs> too many times I go to McDonald's I only go to McDonald's like once once a month usually because I get like my orthodontist appointment we don't have a McDonald's in our town it's too small I go to my orthodontist appointment I'm all hyped up I want to eat McDonald's and get my McFlurry and their ice cream machine is broken half the time <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had that experience I mean I don't go to McDonald's for the ice cream I'm telling so you. I sadly don't their ice cream machine is always broken it always is I I do get the occasional milkshake. Mm -hmm. Nah, just the McFlurry's where it's at. It's good stuff. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite reboot of a franchise? No, that ain't it. Oh, here we go. This After that McDonald's question, this one is a very next, uh, next question. All right, it's small town Redditors. What is something you wish your town had that's available in every city? McDonald's. <laughs> I was thinking like a Subway. I think if I could have one fast food, it'd be Subway over McDonald's. Walmart. Mc McDonald's would get old. A Walmart would be very nice. Okay, yes, I'd take that over Subway. A Walmart could employ our whole town. <laughs> it could. We need some more jobs out here. We got, We don't have much to offer. This is a very deep one. Okay, you ready? <sighs> yes. <clears throat> what keeps you from giving up on life? Hmm... <laughs> Uh, probably like other people like if I was just a lonely person and like I knew nobody loved me or knew about me I'd probably give up but like knowing that other people care about me and stuff it really keeps me going to be honest like I wouldn't want to hurt others so I wouldn't want to hurt myself pretty much I don't know if I didn't like have anybody who loved me I would probably take wow. the easy way out as it's called that's about it people are that's it mm. <laughs> just people nothing else people friends i guess family. religion too i'm pretty religious but we'll save that for the next podcast or the next one after that spoiler <laughs> yeah that, that podcast is coming that's got to get deep whenever it comes out <laughs> uh this one's kind of dumb but what's the longest you've gone without eating i don't know specifically <laughs> maybe like a day like i've went on some like church trips where we don't eat much we just travel so i don't know probably no like food. a day not much food <laughs> <laughs> food is scarce sometimes food is tough not really okay no we live in like the easiest times ever to get food in america <laughs> it's not that hard at all not with this coronavirus okay well now it, <laughs> it's gotten more difficult now but <laughs> this will be gone eventually mm. uh, oh do you think our <clears throat> The way we talk now, like, what are some examples of interesting words that are so old they may be soon lost forever? Like, some someday people are going to be looking back at, like, how we talk now and, like, call it Old English. You th is that going to be true? Simp. <laughs> like, simp. <laughs> simp. <laughs> what is a Get simp? hyped. Define. Clout. Dap me up. Like, what do these things mean? <laughs> and I could just see our English teacher teaching that in 500 years. <laughs> just... Oh, Old this age. man got clout. It's such a weird thought, the <laughs> thought that we are living history right now. Someday, like 100 years from now, somebody's going to be ta talking about the coronavirus of the 20s. It's so interesting. It's a weird thought. I know, I, some history teacher's going to be talking about that. this in 100 years. You know, they always say that at some point in your life, there's going to be something that your generation's going to be remembered for. Maybe this is ours, a coronavirus outbreak. <laughs> That's all we're known for. I mean, you guys are... Not the... Your, like, age group is kind of cursed. I heard. Not the period of time where <laughs> we ate side pods <laughs> yes we'll be known for that too our generation is literally we kill ourselves for fun jesus it is kind of true though actually but oh my god yeah we are very messed up is that is, is internet made us that messed up definitely the boomers it's the boomers, boomers made us, it's boomers fault yes blame the boomers there's a thing there is a thing called the coronavirus challenge what you go get it and give it to a boomer or what do you do <laughs> you just do you like i think the point of it is to like lick something like dirty or something and then <laughs> you know you wait you wait to see if you get it 
what? That is so stupid. Like oh, the things people do for clout nowadays. It, yeah. Clout's a drug. <laughs> people want fame. Your boy. The things. Your boy just got corona. The lengths they would go to. Like, <laughs> oh my god, that's so stupid. Who who is your celebrity crush? Oh god, um, I've actually never even thought about this. <laughs> uh, you know who I used to love? Like a... Ariana Grande used to go off to listening to her music in the tractor, and I was like, hey, that's good stuff back in the day. <laughs> and it's like Ariana Grande. It's so much weirder watching kids shows now because I like go back and I'm like <laughs> attracted to the <laughs> to the characters. Attract- it's so weird. <laughs> But back when I was a child, I was just vibing, and now <laughs> things have changed. It's weird. I mean, it, to each his own. Mine, mine would definitely be uh, Zendaya. I don't know what that is. Oh my god, everyone's I, gonna hate you. I don't know what that is. <laughs> have you not seen any of the new Spider-Man movies? Um, I, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> don't answer that. The Far don't From Home that. one is that the one that just came out. Yes, Far From Home. Yeah, I watched that one. Yeah, she she plays MJ. Oh, I didn't think she was that good. Wow. When I watched, you were I... gonna do her like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's just what I was thinking. That's actually one of the first things I noticed. But anyway. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How many toys? Ariana Grande's music is not that good. Yeah, I'd agree with you, but I used to love it. <laughs> What was it? Problems? I used to go off to that song. <laughs> <laughs> I'd get so hyped when that came on. Um, let's see. <sighs> so how do you describe what are your thoughts on Sword Jump? All the females what is something that you hate that you like? <laughs> something I hate that I like? Uh, yes. Jesus. Ooh. Maybe something that... It could be like video making. I don't hate it, but it gets really boring at times. And again, if people didn't watch the videos, I would have no motivation to do it because it's a very boring process making a video. And then the feedback is what con- cancels out the boredom. So it, it kind of evens out. And yeah, but what what is your creative process like doing that? <clears throat> making a video like I could imagine at times you just be stumped on what to do with something. Oh, there's been times I make like a 20 minute edit and then I just delete it. I'm like, no, that looks stupid. <laughs> Those hurt. <laughs> But yeah, sometimes I just sit there doing nothing. I usually just like, I just take the footage and I just skim through it, cut out the good parts, and then I just start going. I don't really know. The ideas kind of just come to me as I just look at it. Kind of overuse a lot of I'd sound be, effects, but you know, it happens. I'd be flossing. <laughs> Redditors of the World was a binge worthy series. What's your favorite? The most overrated singer slash actor right now. Most overrated actor. I think like. I think a lot of music is overrated these days. I don't really think it's that good, to be honest. <laughs> I'm a boomer, but it all sounds the same, I think. Yeah, so you're one of those people. So, so I vote. Uh, overrated. I don't really. I don't really think like Taylor Swift is that good. Taylor. Um, people love. I can it, agree with I, that. I don't know if she's like great. Did you? See, I think it was Taylor Swift saying that. It's probably a fake article, but it says that she beat Usain Bolt's like hundred meter run or something. Uh, I mean that's probably a fake article. <laughs> I feel she... like she didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What are your simping moments needed for a podcast? <laughs> simping moments. How has the internet ruined your life? It hasn't. It's made it better. Has it? only made it better it has made it better I don't know I think it's damaging people just ruining their innocence too early people are learning things too quick and I don't like that but that's my what is this uh, what is the saddest moment in cartoon history (sighs) alright well Spongebob Patrick when the goofy goober tear connects that's pretty sad Oh, the oh, on the table, the, fried up. That was pretty the tragic sad, death. We've all seen that like a million times. So that, like the first time we all watched that, we were probably crying. But now we've seen it so many times, it doesn't feel the same. Oh, oh yes. Um, when Timmy Turner grows up in Channel Chasers, 
that's sad because that's a reality now that we're all experiencing growing up and that is true that is really that's why that episode hit so much different when i watched it like a couple months ago phineas and ferb growing up yeah i watched the the final episode of phineas and ferb recently and like they're all grown up and it's it's sad what's that (laughs) what's that indian boy's name Belsheet. <laughs> yes, apparently he doesn't. He have like some deep voice. Oh, they like. I think they like. No, they gave him the same voice, because that was kind of funny. But they teased that he'd have a deep voice, and he just has the same voice grown up. It's really high pitched. <laughs> That's what you need. I, really, I wish my voice was like that. <laughs> like bell sheets. <laughs> I don't yes. think anybody has ever wished that. <laughs> oh, exotic's alive. Let's go, exotic. If you could have any job or career in the world right now, what would it be? Any job. Definitely just doing what I love right now, which is just playing games for fun. Mm-hmm. Just... I would go entertainment or just any way to make people's days better. That's it. Some some job that involves that or helping people. So there's probably a lot of things that fall under that, but that's kind of what I want to do. Comedian. Not a comedian. I'm not... <laughs> I would not be a good comedian, I don't think. You just start laughing on stage, and then everyone that's, would laugh with that's you. That's my whole gig. I just sit there and laugh for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't get old. Oh, let's see. What's the best present you've ever received? The best I present think. I've ever received. The I gift think. of life. Oh. <laughs> I was going to go with like an Xbox 360, but... <laughs> <laughs> gift of life. All right. I can, I can respect that, I suppose. I still think an Xbox 360 over it, though. <laughs> I mean, now that you put it that way, maybe the 360. <laughs> there we go. That's right. <laughs> hmm. What are all the rest? What would you ask a dead person? Uh, like they could, like, what happens after death? I mean, that'd probably be the first thing. Still alive? Are you like, what are you doing? <laughs> if I could. And yeah, that's really all I'm interested. Other than that, I don't really care. <laughs> I just want that out of them. That's it. Someone someone commented saying, can you stop laying around? <laughs> You're taking up space. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what makes things funny? What do you think makes something comedic or funny? I don't really know. What is What makes things funny? I was kind of thinking that yeah, immediately. Definitely... I'm just sitting here playing a video game. How do people even find this enjoyable? I was really like... I was really confused what makes why I think things are funny. I don't know what it is that makes things funny, but you gotta you gotta have the right atmosphere and you gotta have the right people. And like irony and stuff. I don't I don't know what it is. You gotta have this the your voice, your tone of voice has to be different. You can't just talk in a stern voice and say something that's supposed to be funny, but not have it be funny. Yeah. So delivery. Yeah. It's it's. I was really thinking about it. Like, what makes things funny? <laughs> I still don't really know for sure. It's interesting. Oh, crap. Mm -hmm. Today's the last day of March. In eight minutes it is. I gotta get the April 1st video. (laughs) I gotta get an idea for that. Alright, anyway. (laughs) I just got that from this ask credit. It says today's the last day of March. What do you think April has in store? Aliens. Probably the exact same thing as March. We're probably just gonna be sitting inside all day. Continue to do that. So, yeah. Uh, Mm. Let's see the best decision the Star Wars universe is real and you discover you can use the force how do you use this newfound power I don't want to ask questions about Star Wars because I'd make a lot of people mad but uh, I, would immediately, I would immediately kill someone what does the force do <laughs> I mean it's you can choke someone alright I'll do that alright there you go <laughs> I don't know what the force does I'm sorry I never watched Harry Potter or Star Wars Yo, I'm cultured, my God. I'm cultured, all right. Did you just say I've never I don't you know what the force does? I've never seen Harry Potter. And, or Star Wars. I said Star Wars too. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I didn't hear the part Star of Star Wars. Wars. Part. I'm cultured though, all right. <laughs> oh my god. Are we gonna well, keep having society... catastrophes in this year, you think? Oh definitely. There's it's really interesting. It's not over. Right? So many things have happened. It's only been three months. It's crazy. In this... Like I wanted to stop, but at the same time I wanted to keep going. Not I that it, I like it. I, like it's not a good I thing don't to want say. It to kill but us. I see it as 
like entertainment. <laughs> it's not the best thing to say, but I don't know. I like it seeing keeps things spicy. <laughs> that's why like 2018, 2019 were boring years. Like nothing happened. I don't think. 2020 so, is pretty spicy, if you ask me. 2020, we got a lot going on. So yeah. Um. What does your inner voice sound like? <laughs> Could you describe your more logical, more logical than I am? But what does it sound like? <laughs> does it have myself? A sound? Do deaf people think in sign language? I don't know. They answer that question in a video once. I think I can't, like, I can't comprehend not being able to see. Like, I would just think all they see is black, but they don't even see black. Like, I can't comprehend not being able to see anything. I don't know. It's man. just it's a crazy thing. <laughs> it's a it's a concept that you can't you can't just wrap your head around it. Because they say they can like detect light, but they like I always but thought they just see black, but they one of the dudes said he didn't see black. I, I don't know how that's possible. I like I can't understand it. It's so weird. Mm, let's see. What is the scariest thing you've ever seen? Tell your ghost story, please. <laughs> The scariest thing I've ever seen. God. What ha what was the scariest thing I've ever seen? Uh, let's see. I don't really know. I'm too young to see scary things. <laughs> Same, never, you know? I've never seen anything like, big happen, really. That's I mean, I lived me. next to a park, and I've seen a swing going by itself. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is kind of terrifying. You know, like there's no wind. Like, how does a swing go by itself? Yeah. Here, let's see. Um, I don't know. The scariest thing I've ever seen is I just I was just sitting in my room one day all alone, and then the lights just turned on. <laughs> so that was that was kind of scary. That's about it. That's all He's I've gotta, experienced. You gotta use you gotta use comedy to drive the demons away. You, know, you just gotta <laughs> just, invite you gotta invite them in. Yes, it's you people. can't be scared. They sense that. Yeah, the people in the horror movies don't they don't act appropriate when there's demons. They, uh, they, they just gotta be funny. That makes it much better. Which okay, okay, this one's good. Which song makes you think of nostalgic or think makes you think of better times? <clears throat> uh, it's all right. It's like old Call of Duty Black Ops two, glitch videos. There's this guy called OGZ XFTW, and Million Lives by Jake Miller, and There for You by Jay Reyes. I don't know if you know any of those, but they are some OG zombie glitch videos that he played in the background that's the music and it was good stuff it's very og and then okay, okay. <clears throat> there's like that old logic song that all the phase guys used i don't remember what it was called i yeah. don't remember either those are my three definitely definitely for me it would be a midnight city i forgot who it's by but it's a, it's a song that was played on the gta radio midnight and like back city. when gta i'm saving i'm listening midnight to it city. after midnight city it, it's definitely a song. It's like song. it made me think of back when I would actually like stay up late, really late, playing video games with friends, mm -hmm. and just we would all just have fun, just laugh about <laughs> dumb things. It's something I don't, I don't know why that's something that doesn't happen anymore. But we just don't grind anymore like that. I don't know why. It's weird. We're old. We're boomers. It's not the same anymore. Yeah, we've really grown up. <laughs> um, what right. do you? Okay, okay. I think we should. How 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 much how much time do we have left? We're sitting at fifty eight minutes and forty seconds. So if you want to ask one more, all right. I two. think this can be the last question. All right, let's get it. What do you think happens when we die? Oh my God, this leads on to the religion episode. But I am I'm a religious person. I think there's an afterlife for sure. Like I definitely think, think there's so. more to life than this. I don't think it's just by random chance that we're here. We definitely were here for a purpose. We were designed. We're here for a reason. And there is an afterlife. Join us in the religion episode in a couple of weeks. <laughs> That's my Maybe. very brief. What do you think? I mean, I don't know. I feel. I feel like. I feel like reincarnation can be a thing. There is one strong case for reincarnation. The one There's, like kid who thought he was a fighter pilot, dude. I forgot what that case was called, but that's interesting. Yeah, there's like so many cases out there where it's like children remembering stuff and it's like really weird how they remember it so vividly when they live in a whole different part of the world and they're at such a young age. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it's this weird. I'd crazy. need like all the details of the story though. Like they could just be setting stuff up to get views and to get publicity. People do that a lot, unfortunately. Yeah. But yeah, man, if I if I could study each case, there could probably be some strong cases out there for reincarnation, which is interesting. Exactly. Like this I don't know who we I mean, we won't know until yeah, we pass. At the end of the day, nobody knows. Or like I have doubts, everybody has doubts. We don't know for sure. And there is someday. people that say that they've like you know, people that have been pronounced dead and then come back to life. They always share their story. Some people say that there's an actual afterlife and then there's some people that say that there's nothing. Yeah, it's interesting. But so the happy side of the story is that someday we'll all know. Which could also be the sad yep. side. It goes either way. All right, is that the last one? Yeah. We're at an hour and 30 seconds. So every other episode's been like an hour and one minute, so we got to wrap it up. Um, mm-hmm. Anything you want to say? Or I got it. Uh, you got it. You all right. Take it from Thank me. you all for watching. If you made it this far, hope you enjoyed it. It was just literally just ask credit for an hour. We didn't know how well that'd go, but it went pretty well in the end. And that was probably the quickest hour one of these podcasts has ever been. Thank you all for watching, mm-hmm. tuning in. If you guys want to be a guest, leave something in the comments. I mean, I'm open to talk to any of you guys. Thank you all for watching, viewing, subscribing. Like, the channel's going off. Thank you guys so much. It's awesome. Living the dream. Here with Nacho. Nacho says goodbye. Nacho, say goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. All Get right. ready for a big announcement soon. Goodbye every night. Or, goodbye every night. What, I don't even know what I just said. <laughs> Good night, everyone. <laughs>